Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel. Certainly appreciate you all taking time out of your day to pay me a visit. I am up in uh, Washburn County in Wisconsin. I am out on Rice Lake for the very first time. It's uh, Monday, September 13th. Um, I am up here for the week to primarily fish Long Lake with uh, my parents. Uh, they're driving up uh, this morning. I came up here a day early. Fished uh, the Mississippi at La Crosse yesterday and had a pretty good day. I uh, always heard nice things about Rice Lake. Uh, I was just checking out their uh, like information board at the launch here, and apparently there's muskie in here, which I didn't know. I uh, hemmed and hawed whether I wanted to bring my muskie gear for these uh, before and after trips, but I uh, decided to save my muskie stuff for uh, the Canada trip that I got coming up in a few weeks. Uh, anyway, let's go see what we can find out on Rice Lake. Looks like a fun lake. Uh, I think we're going to go fish some uh, main lake points here first. Uh, water temp is 64.4 degrees. Wow. All right. Let's go get them. That's a nice, probably 14 incher. Probably be a keeper. Uh, so that came on a, uh, a brown Booyah Pad Crasher. Throwing this on a Daiwa Tatula R uh, 8.1 gear ratio. And this is paired with a uh, Tricky Sticks custom rod. Not exactly sure what it is. It's like a an 8 foot heavy action. You know, it's just a good frog, frog, yeah, frog rod. Um, but yeah, you know, I've really been torn whether I want to try to focus on like the deeper points. This this lake has a lot of really steep shorelines, which uh, probably good for smallmouth. Uh, but it's also got a lot of these lily pad fields, so I'll probably give these lily pads uh, another try. There's this field here that I'm gonna work through, and then there's another one over there that I might work through, and then maybe I'll switch over to the deeper water. Oh, that's a nice. All right, not a nice fish, but man, that was cool. <laughs> that's a that's a decent fish. It's fat, man. Crushed it. That's a chunky, chunky fish. It's got something just barely sticking out of his throat. 
All right, buddy. There's something about that weed clump that just made me think, man, that's got to hold the fish. Go for a stop recording. Go for a start recording. That's a fucking fish. Alright, man, the frog bite's on. Ooh. Alright. Ah. Alright, buddy, chill out. Come on. Yes, yes, you you are fierce. I I was going to kick this guy in, but this one on the show, catch and release works. You know, look at that. He's missing half of his jaw, but spunky, spunky fish. So uh, this walk the dog action is absolutely crucial. I'm going to show you guys how I do that modify these frogs to walk the dog like that especially when you're fishing pads like this and you got that open water so to make a frog walk the dog definitely requires a certain brand of frogs um, not to say that some that all of them can't walk the dog, but the Booyahs uh, certainly walk the dog really easy. You just chop the uh, the tails down pretty short. One has to be longer than the other. That's that's definitely a requirement. And then, of course, the other one that I always do is bend up the hooks ever so slightly. Um, generally makes for better hookups. Oh, that's a pike. <laughs> I was going to say, that did not sound like a bass. Oh. All right, Mr. Snake. Eh, uh, probably low 20s. Oh, <laughs> I thought I had a weed on. Man, that fish was not, not doing anything. There's one, another little small guy.
Just a standard quarter ounce double Colorado spinner bait that I tied up earlier this year. guy it's funny for a shoal like this I was expecting smallmouth not largemouth open up buddy Dinks are coming on drop shot as well. Let's try the deeper side. There's one. Doesn't feel huge, but what is that? A bluegill? Wow, that's a big old bluegill. When you can lip a bluegill, you know it's pretty big. See you later. Guy has some really nice colors on him. Okay, everyone, that's going to do it for us today on Rice Lake. Fun little place to fish. Um, found them in the, the lily pads. That really was the only consistent thing. That and me missing uh, a lot of the hooks that's on the frogs. <laughs> um, I saw a lot of uh, schools of bait fish and fish out in like 10 eight to 12 feet of water uh just couldn't put anything together for those uh, except for that one bluegill um so all right we're gonna go uh have a great week out on long lake so thanks for sticking with me and i will see you all in the next one